No, 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 no. Henry, I saved you. I want you to know this. Oh my god. Henry, it's okay. It's okay. <gasps> Why are you all after him? He is my only friend right now. Take me down to where my stars are shining all around me like hello. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. I think I am gonna like put my my bloopers in front because all, all you'll hear is me like mess up the very beginning intro and me going blah, 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 blah. It's very strange. I don't understand it either. Also, I put something new in my birdcage so either she'll be really excitedly chirping or really pissed off. You never know with birds. Anyways, we're going to do a adventure mode this time instead of the five day rush. I'm actually really excited because it has all the new features on it. I think my old save when I had um, when that I was playing before the five day rush um, I'm pretty sure that it ha had lag issues due to all the updates and all that kind of stuff So I'm glad to be starting a new a fresh I am really excited to be like experiencing all the new features for like the first time and since it's officially released It makes sense to just stop my old one and then go with the new one Anyways, I can't decide I named my game name slime tastic obviously I can't decide between the these three. Oh, there's just so many good choices I think I went with honey last time, so I shouldn't go with honey this time. Should I do- I'm gonna do the beloved puddle. Let's do the puddle slime. I love the puddle slime. I think it's the cutest. 1,000 light years away from Earth on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix Lebu begins her first day as the slime rancher. Actually, if I'm honest, I think they're all the cutest. <gasps> Carrots. I got a carrot. You got a carrot. Oh, we got some mail. Let's look at the mail. Star mail. I think we read some of these during the five-day rush. Um, like to welcome you to the Far Far Range uh, and extend our support to your new venture. Blah de blah de blah blah. Support extended. We would also like you to request you. Wow, I don't know what that was. I tried really hard to form a sentence. It didn't happen. We also like to request that you exercise caution in the first few days on the range until you get more familiar with your surroundings. Traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items and your slime ranching experience easier, the Z or 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your um, ranch home. Thank you, 7Z Corporation. You're swell. Let's return. Hop to it. We're hopping. Henry! No, 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 no. Henry, I saved you. I want you to know this. Oh my god. Henry, it's okay. It's okay. <gasps> Why are you all after him? He is my only friend right now. How, how are you doing, Henry? Stay here. Stay here where it's safe, and I'll be right back. Whee! Come here. You all are trying to kill my friends and I'm gonna need you all to stop ta-da um, slimes are key to your success through the I did that okay um, tasty food all right I don't really need the um, tutorial but you know I'll I'll go through it anyway and then I'll collect all the port thank you friends now stay in there nobody wants you wandering around Henry, how are you doing over here? You doing okay? All right. All right. Can I can I get started now, please, please? Uh, let's make this a garden. Please. Oh, I used lots of my money. Great, you built a garden. Yay! Is there anything else I can collect around here? No. All right, we're gonna do some exploring. Oh wait, no, I have to. Oh, I don't have any fruit. You got, you just made me feed them. Why would I have fruit if I had to feed them? That doesn't make any sense, silly gooses. Oh. Hello. Oh, you guys are like going to town. I'm gonna grab these then before you do anything. And I'm gonna go back. And yep, that's right. You guys just keep sitting there and shitting. That's what you do best. Oh, there's another one. Oh, God, there's a wall there. That is why you do not walk backwards when you're unfamiliar areas. Hi, Henry. Right. I know the beginning's kind of boring, but I always kind of get a kick out of, like, starting anew. I don't know why. Like, in Harvest Moon slash Stardew Valley, that's what I do. 
Well, I, I, I don't know. I like starting anew where I have all these new things that I can, um, like, all these things to accomplish. Because once I get to the point in the game where there's not much left, I get bored very easily. And that's probably one of the reasons why I had to stop um, Project Zomboid after a while. Which, by the way, guys, in case you were wondering, Project Zomboid will be coming back next month. I'm really super excited about it, but I figured I really wanted to do a, um... No, these are mine. Mine. No, 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 these are mine. I really wanted to do a, like, a... Um, not a Christmas, jeez, wrong holiday. A Halloween thing. <gasps> Oh, I need, I need some meat. I need some meat. Don't, don't go anywhere. Go, oh, oh god. Oh god, don't go anywhere. Oh, I think he went somewhere. It's okay. I got some meat for you. Oh, he's gone. Yep. I'm a little sad. What was I saying? Oh, I want to go over here. Da -da 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 -da. All right, we have three keys to get, and uh, we have those little ball thingies to get. Again, I don't remember what they're called, but um, I don't even remember how to get them, actually, to be honest with y'all. But yes, anyway, like I was trying to say before, I got super duper distracted. Um, I missed Project Zomboid. I can't wait to bring it back, and it should be back next month, and I hope to bring something new to it. I don't know yet. In fact, speaking of bringing stuff back and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to be doing a crap ton of recording here shortly, hopefully. And it's going to be all for um, Halloween. So I'm going to do like a whole month worth of Halloween specials, I think. Not, maybe not a whole month worth. That's, that's excessive. But it's going to be like a book load of Halloween things if I get everything accomplished the way I want it to. So I don't want to like make promises and break them, but I'm pretty confident that's what's going to happen. Because all the videos that you're seeing from this point forward, which this is, ref this would probably go up next week. Yeah, it's going to go up next week. Um, actually, any videos that you're seeing that are from 9-7 and forward are all pre-recorded. And that means I have a whole month at this point, almost a whole month, I'm five episodes short of a whole month of videos for you guys. So I have nothing but devotion towards this whole little project of mine, and I am super excited about it because I get to play games that I've been um, putting off and haven't played yet. And I can't wait to play them. And most of them are horror games, and so I'm like a little nervous because I get super duper um, scared during Prey. And it, like I, I can't play Prey for long periods of time. That's one of the only uh, series that I have left to record besides this one. So I'm like, oh no, I just, uh, it, it worries me a little. I'm not gonna lie. Hello there, Tabby Slimes. Hey there, friends. Uh, all right. I had a great big tree like this here. Um, like this here one along the edge of my property back on earth. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of changes around it and then one day I began to notice it was dying. Was it anything unnatural? It was just its time I suppose. And then I realized that if I didn't do something I'd end up like that tree. I'd spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't going to let that happen so I bought a ticket for a far far range the very next day. I wish real life was like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Do you guys sometimes get like this fed upness? I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's it's what I feel. I just have all these feelings, but no. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just sometimes, sometimes that's how I feel. All right, let's go back up before uh, a tartar is formed. Oh, I had a day at work. Our boss, or owner, or whatever you want to call him, likes to send crappy emails about people, and one of the, and like not to them, never to the person that he has an issue with. It's always to everybody in the company but the person. And one of our newest employees had that happen to them, and uh, did not appreciate it. And when I try to explain that to the other manager, that's supposed to be like, like neck, like my partner, but he and the owner apparently because the owner and like i don't know it's confusing but we're supposed to be partners and 
the way it worked out was the owner likes him a lot more than I than me and so he's apparently now above me which doesn't make sense um, anyways uh, didn't understand why this employee was upset and I'm just like no one wants to hear that they've been talked shitty about in any kind of form especially an email and I, I don't understand why he didn't get that I, He's like, well, I see both sides. I'm like, no, there's there's only one side, and that is don't do it. Like, I don't, it's not a hard concept. I don't know, but I'm, I, I think it's just that I am so, like, I don't, I'm not confrontational, but, like, I don't, like, avoid confrontation if it's in, like, you know, around me. So I'm not, like, going to walk around and be like, oh, I'm anti com confrontational I'm not I'm not gonna say anything even if it upsets me no I'm the type of person that's like okay I'm upset right now and I really want to talk about it so why don't we just sit down and have a chat and talk about this and why it's upsetting me I'm that kind of person so when somebody doesn't do that I don't understand it eludes me I don't know I got a heartbeat guys finally got a heart it's great sometimes until I have all these feelings but yeah so I don't know, I'm just, like, he didn't understand, and it's been on my mind, and I think we're gonna end up losing an employee because of this, and I'm just kinda like, really? This is, it's just a shitty way to treat your employees. That's all I'm gonna say. And, I don't know, just, maybe I, because I'm not an owner, or, you know, part of the elite, maybe I just don't understand. And I keep getting told that I'm young, and <laughs> that really, like, sets me off because it's like I've been with this company forever and I keep being told that I'm young so I don't understand I'm not mature enough and it's like guys I've been with this company for seven years they sh shouldn't treat people like this no matter how old I am <laughs> I don't know it's just my thoughts lately Frog Zomboid is usually my like venting and talking about stuff that I'm upset about but at the same time, like, well, now it's gone, for one. So now I have this game. And for two, the next Project Zomboid that I start is going to be, hopefully, a multiplayer. And I'm not going to just, like, walk around with a person going, so this is what upset me today. No, I'm not going to do that. That's that's weird. <laughs> but I can't act like it didn't happen. You, it's, it's a very confusing situation. I don't know. I'm, I'm very conflicted on a lot of things about it. There you go, friends. Now you have a home. Don't you feel great about your home? Very conflicted about a lot of things. I don't know. Just eat, my pretties. Eat. I don't want to put too many of these guys in here. Oh, wait. Why are what? What are you doing out here? For one. Oh God. Oh, oh. Henry, it's it. It'll be okay. Oh God. Why are you out? Get back in there. This is where the food is. You get your food in here. See this? See how the food's in here? That means you stay in here also. And why are you just flirting around? It's okay, Henry. It's okay. It's okay, friend. Oh, no, wait. Henry's over there. What are you guys? You guys are Henry imposters. Imposters. Not imposters. <laughs> imposters. What the hell? Alright, let's grab them. Put them in the cage where they belong. Come on, Henry. Or Henry 2 and Henry 3. You guys get to go with the other Henry clan. There you go. Don't be so happy. I mean, you can be so happy because you're cute, but you know, whatever. Alright, I just need money for a whole nother corral and for a whole nother garden. And I'll be on my way to starting up this uh, beautiful, beautiful game. <laughs> and my, um, like, my. My farm. I don't know why that word was eluding me, but I was like, I don't I don't know. Maybe I should just sleep during the day because now I'm not in the five day rush. I don't have to collect things, yeah. Go back out when everyone's plorted again. That sounds like a plan. Read some eat or some mail, some star mail. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what it's like. Seven Z puts you in a pod and then the lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and keep it short. Good luck, B. I, I was like, it, B A, B A, but it's, it is Beatrix. Okay, so Bia. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. Yeah, Beatrix, you can make it. Sleep till morning.
Hello there. Good morning. Woohoo! I need you all to plort for me. Come on. Where's your morning plorts? That's right. Morning plorts. Uh, range exchange offline. So if this is the far, far range, I find it strange that uh, we are the only people living here. Yep, that's what's on my thought right now. All right. Oh, some plorts. That's what I want. All the plorts. All the plorts. So what are we doing today? I don't know. Like, I want to get the keys. Oh, I guess I can go and make the other guy pop. Or try to. Yeah, I can keep feeding him. That's a that's a good plan. Let's do that today. I just wanted to collect some plort and try to earn some money. And I want to at least get my tabby cage going. Since I have them. Um, I also need to get, like, my rock um, slimes. Or I need to get rock slimes. I need to go get a rock slime cage. And all of that good stuff. Alright, let's see here. Hello there, Mr. Happy Bean. Look. Oh, I, th I thought it was totally mushrooms. Hey, friends! Oh, he's exploding. Yay! My first key! I'm gonna need you all to back off my box. Oh, I guess you guys can have that. It's fine. Really just want the money. Ugh. Fine, eat them. Hungry. Hungry ports. Hungry slimes. Alright. I did get some money with that, so that's exciting. Except I don't I don't understand why those crates, being as rare as they are, only give you like 30 or some gold. It's strange to me. Strange. Hello there, friends! I will see you all in a little bit. I got a key and I'm super excited about it. The only thing is, is like, I think it's just like one, yeah, it's one out of three. I need to locate all those little pods too. Um, I'm trying to remember what they're called. I think it starts with a T. I know it starts with a T. <sighs> I just, I can't think of it. But I'm really excited because I like having like visual goals for that stuff. Oh, I need to come get that soon. I like visual goals. That's what I'm going to say today. Honestly, guys, I hope this hasn't been a too boring of an episode. It, it, you know, it's right in the very beginning, so it's hard to keep, like, it very super entertaining because you're doing all, like, the tedious stuff, like, collecting port and trying to get money and all that kind of good stuff. But then, like, I also kind of ranted a little bit, but it's just it was on my mind. I don't like... I have to, you know, speak my mind, I guess. Oh, you son of a bitch, you ate it. Oh, I just coming over here and getting it. I, like, I don't like being fake, I guess is what it was. And, like, I tried to explain the situation like I don't know why he didn't understand but he was just like well I, I see both points and it's like well I just I think there's other ways if you're upset with an employee being as a manager that you can go about doing it say like you know um, contacting your supervisor that's directly you know that handles the situation directly instead of everybody else in the company besides you or just include you if you thought it's that big of a deal and then like quietly go hey here's the mistake it doesn't even have to be politely. It's just, just here's the mistake. Um, let's try to fix it. Here's what we can do to try to resolve the situation. Let's do better in the future kind of thing. And the way the email was put, and I quote, it's not brain surgery to put, ec or, you know, to do this damn job or something. Like it's a quote. It's a quote. It's basically that. I kind of paraphrase not to give away any, like, personal information or anything like that. But... <laughs> It was, quote, this isn't brain surgery to do this damn job, end quote. That's, that's what it was. And I'm just like, and so the guy who is, might I add, only maybe worked here for a month, brand new, is just like, what? And I get his point because he's learning everything and I've been on vacation and we've been having a crazy week and we've had a lot of orders go out and I did not have time to properly train him and the other manager should have been properly training him and um, I know everybody's been busy and everything but there's been some talk around the office about how um, who contributed the most 
here lately. Alright, got lots of- oh, my Largo. I don't know why I said it like that. That was a little weird for me. Oh, my Largo. Alright, I'm going to start wrapping up. We're gonna throw this in here. I think I'm very close to getting these tabby slimes in. Like, super duper close. And I hate getting the tabby slimes this quickly because I like to have this area over here open because they um, have all the chickens and stuff and for a while it's gonna be hard to feed my tabbies but I feel like if it's just the three of them really seriously I need 250 and I have 246 this is crap are you trying to kill yourself Henry oh you're not even Henry what are, who are you what are you doing go back over here all right you guys aren't eating I need you guys to poo Oh, I'm almost hitting that 20 mark. I like to try to keep my, my videos to 20 minutes. Uh, uh, can, can you guys poo, please, for one? Oh, oh, he pooed. He pooed. Someone pooed. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thora West. Wonder who you are. I wake up in the morning. I don't know why that song just. Is in my head. I think it's because I said something along those lines that were similar, and I said it in the same wavelength, and it's just been in my head ever since. Um, let's see. Let's put. Oh, sure. Now you guys port. Uh, corral purchase. All right. There's three of you. And we're gonna grab some three of these, and I'm gonna end the episode. So if you guys like this video, press that like button. If you wanna watch more videos, press the subscribe button. I make videos Monday through Thursday and sometimes on Friday. I am sorry that this episode ended to be ended up being a little bit more rancy than I would hope. But I hope you all forgive me, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.